All right, good morning, 10.08. So we're almost there. How's everybody? Good. Not happy new year, it's happy do year, right? This is the year of do, are we correct? Yes. All right, so happy do year to each and every one of you. And what? Uh, I just a little warm in here, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Did they, you ask them? Somebody did ask them? Yes? No? I did. All right. All right, good. Jerry, that a boy. I like it. Thanks for taking care of us, Jerry. Sure. You're the man. Jim Shands likes it hot. He comes from, he came from Wisconsin. Every time I come down here, if he gets below, what, 72, he's like bundled up like in a parka. Yeah. 72 is too low. Yeah. 72 is way too low? Yeah. Oh, That's spring water, man. That's spring water. Come on. I left yesterday. He never got above 32 yesterday in Tennessee, so that's where I was. But uh, that's all right. And Je Jeanette was very. Every time I come down, they're having the, we're having our first overnight lows in the single digits tonight. She says, "You never hear when it does." That. That's as well, you got to plan it out. You got to have the farmer's almanac. I plan my trip right around all that. I know exactly when this thing's going to hit uh, and get, get going. So, awesome. Hey, um, got some of our vendors here. I want to say hey to you real quickly, and then we'll get cranked up. We got a lot of stuff to get through today. So, Jerry, how are you, man? All right. Maybe it'll be cool enough the time you uh, get up here. Okay. Uh, first of all, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas today. Oh, is it Are they diving today? Yeah. Yeah. Give me that one to dive. I'll find that cross. Come on. I can do that. I'm going to tell you, jumping in that water, probably the temperature that it is, yeah. that will be invigorating. It's like a year of good luck, though, or something. Is it? What's the. Yeah. Okay. We're going to ask our resident, John Brokolakis. Uh, to, John Brokolakis will let us know. Oh. No. <laughs> they don't get any more I was, I was going to run for Congress in, uh, in in Tarpon Springs one time, and they have to change my name to McDougalopolis. There's no way to get elected there. Anyhow, my name is Jerry Chavo. I'm with Golden Rosie Property Management. Uh, we are a full service property management and leasing company. We service the entire Tampa Bay area. We use the cloud system for uh, the management of our uh, customers and our prop their respective properties, which means that they have. 24-7 access to the cloud as well as the tenants. That's how they pay the rent. That's how they disperse. All the documents are kept. So everybody's happy, including their accountants, because they can print out any kind of report that they want. Our company is continuing to grow. Uh, today I'm introducing our newest member of our team. Her name is Stephanie Davis. Yes, Stephanie yes. comes to us. Um, what a friendly group around here. We are overwhelmed by our generosity and kindness. Okay. Stephanie comes to us from another real estate company that specializes in property management. And Stephanie is based out of the Rear View Brandon area. She's so domiciled she's there? She's domiciled there. Very good. She likes that word. <laughs> or he likes me using it. <laughs> and uh, so that means she covers that whole Brandon, Del Rico, Riverview area, down to Apollo Beach, etc. And uh, while well, she does come into the office from time to time, because our company is a virtual company with regards to our back end and our software, she's able to manage from the front end. Again, Jerry Kappa. And don't forget, we do pay referrals. And I can tell you last month, I wrote uh, Maureen several checks last month for people for referral fees. And one of those people happens to be sitting right there, Lori. And she is a, a very good referral agent for us. Again, thank you very much. Have a great day. Great. Pay referrals and protects your clients. When I say protects clients, that was two key things if you're going to be in cahoots uh, with us as far as property management. It's protecting them to the sense of you turn a landlord over to them and later on in two years, three years from now, you've kind of lost touch, which you shouldn't do. But if you have, all of a sudden they go back and say, hey, Jerry, we think we're going to sell this property. Ah, you know what? Lori's the one who turned you on to us. So you need to contact Lori. All right. Protection of that of that lead is vital. All right. It's more important than the, than the referral. So. Um, and he knows the minute he doesn't, all right, do that, then I've got Italian friends who can break knees right? <laughs> that, uh, that, that do that. So it, we have that agreement. Uh, I think that's stereotype. Yeah. I'm not sorry? Stereotype. <laughs> Shoe right fits, today. baby. Shoe fits, baby. Yeah. And where? All right. Kevin Overstreet, what's up, man? Hey, sir. Hey, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Sorry. <laughs> um, I won't take much time. I just want to say thank you. We just had uh, our best year. Our best year as a company since um, that little hiccup that happened a few years ago in the market.
market. And uh, are also our best with FHR. We've been working with you all for about five years, five and a half. It's been a great relationship, um, as you know, and we really appreciate we closed over 150 loans or transactions with the company in the year of 2014. And thank you very much. Awesome. Congratulations on that. Partially because of that, because of other growth that we're experiencing, we need another closure. And we have some ads out and um, uh, on career builder and things like that. But that's not the best way to get someone because we don't know if they're good until they come in and prove that they're bad. So <laughs> if, you, um, if you know someone, a closer who is talented and you look for a change, you'll be looking for a change, possibly more money, uh, certainly a better place to work, they be right next door to you. And um, if you have anyone like that, please email me or call me and connect me with that person. And, uh, don't pay the referral fee for that because it's illegal, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure they have a great, um, a great experience working for us. So thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. Awesome. I saw Christina this morning. She's February something, 28 something, or? Yeah. She said, little boy. I told her she could have the whole weekend off when she was What a guy. Had a boy. As long as she does closing from the uh, from the delivery room. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll, I'll buy her a laptop. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. She can get it done. Awesome. Good deal. Let's go to Gina Tamariki. Good morning. How, How are you? New Year. Happy New Year to you. Uh, I'm Gina with Mr. Riki, Rocksmith Services. So for you guys, a Riki special is a great closing gift. Um, if you're in property management, we cater to property managers, so talk to me a little more. Um, but I really just wanted to say thank you to Bob for a great holiday party for anybody that was there. Good time, um, absolutely. Really, really, yeah. Made it all myself, all those things. Man, I slaved over that stove forever. <laughs> you did a fabulous job. Thank you very much. Appreciate and that. So thank you for that. It just affirms um, that you have a great group of people once again every time I'm a part of anything that you're doing. Um, and I wanted to thank Jerry Papa also for involving uh, those of us who participated in the Metropolitan Ministry. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Um, Christmas was a little even more humbling than Thanksgiving. Because it's really, it was more direct contact that we had with the people in need, and so I just want to thank Jerry for for having me and uh, having you. us all a part of that. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. great, okay, thank you. welcome. B Heckman. Hi, uh, Brian Heckman. I'm a mortgage guy, so uh, that's what I do. Um, hey, some awesome stuff though this year, which is I think super encouraging. It's all about closing deals, right? So. Yes. Um, not that I'm going to throw out a bunch of mortgage product, but check this out. What's really good about this is that it's getting uh, it's getting more private investors in the marketplace. So we just rolled out. So I'm kind of hesitant to share this, so um, don't like blow up like the opportunity there. But like standard income product is like it's back, right? So believe it or not, now with 620 credit score, you can do up to 2.5 million, which is pretty crazy. Standard income. What? It's crazy. <laughs> Legit. Sound 620. Here we so, go again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, so here's the thing on that. It's legit stuff, right? So there's options to do it. There's two going to be three options. There's a uh, bank statement program. There is a CPA letter. And then there is a profit and loss, right? Which is crazy. So I share that. It's like, whoa. I'm just sharing with you the information that's out there. Here's the reality though, it's for the legit business owner. Because you guys can know business owners that are on the sidelines that maybe had a hiccup that had lower credit scores, and we're all pulling our hair out because we're doing deals for FHA borrowers that have no money. Their debt ratios are at 57%. We just closed one. Pretty crazy. And then you got a business owner that's got a ton of money, ton, I mean, tons of deposits. So it's not for the person with 18 different businesses and three network marketing businesses and the side Tupperware business that's got all this different stuff, it's legit. But the cool thing is it's, it's out there. You know, and it's, it's come back. And then you got to put a bunch of money down. So you're talking Good. 20, 30, 35% down for this stuff. So it's now for the first time home buyer with no money. But awesome stuff that's out there. And y'all probably heard about the 3% down Fannie Mae program. I would just caution you to talk, to not talk people out of FHA because there is now a 3% down Fannie Mae product. Because there's certainly a lot of people that have to go FHA. Right? So I just be careful about that. So Brian Edmund, I'm a mortgage guy. I appreciate being here. Awesome. And he gets younger by the year, doesn't he? I'm telling you. Gets his hair cut, and next thing you know, he looks 12 again. What? Uh, see, I'm saying, you're going backwards. Getting younger and younger each and every time. Is that it? Did I get everybody? Yeah? Speak now forever. Hold your peace. All right, let's roll. Maureen, you said you have something here. we got changes to paperless pipeline. All for the good? 
actually <laughs> 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 So the Love Jamboree and Paypost Pipeline is rolling out their new product sometime in the month of January. We don't have an exact date. So one day this month, you're going to log into Paypost. It's going to look different. All the components are still the same. It's just going to be color different, and there's going to be some added options. But we're going to show four minutes of this introductory um, you know, release of what's going on. And then we'll be creating, we'll talk a little bit about training here in a second, but we'll be creating yes. a class that will be class. available for you that you guys can go watch at your leisure and do all that kind of stuff. So, new release is fully loaded to keep you more mobile and productive than ever. The navigation bar and the global search box are now clearer and easier to use on any screen size. <laughs> and no matter how far down the page you scroll, the navigation bar remains accessible. You asked. Pipeline is now easier to use on mobile phones and tablets. Checklist functions, emailing of docs, and all of your favorite features now work great on touch screens. You can now categorize your transactions using custom labels. Use them to mark a transaction as a rental, sale, commercial listing, residential listing, condominium, office space, parking lot, etc. You can filter and search transactions based on the label. Your favorite color-coded, customizable working doc labels are now available on transaction docs. And when a labeled working doc gets assigned to a transaction, that label will get seamlessly carried over. <coughs> doc names make it easy for your agents and admins to comply with your company's document naming conventions. When users add documents to a transaction, they can select a name from your company's predefined list of standard document names. Standardized doc names are not enforced. Your users will be able to enter a different name in cases where a standard name is not applicable to a doc. Checklist auto assignment saves time for your admins and makes your transaction management workflow more reliable and you don't have to lift a finger. Here's how it works. Pipeline can now assign a checklist template to a transaction automatically whenever the transaction's status or label changes to a desired value. For example, whenever any transaction moves to a pending status, you can have the system automatically assign the pending offer checklist template to that transaction. We've combined the send note and email docs features into one simple but powerful interface. This means you can now send notes with or without attached docs to outside contacts. Reusable messages save loads of time for your agents and admins by giving them the ability to save and recall their frequently sent messages with one click. This new section has been designed to provide reports that admins and agents frequently need. All right, got that? Yeah. All right, hire somebody to get all that done. Go out and sell real estate, okay? <laughs> get the holy smokes up. I would pull my hair out. All right, let's get back to our compliance person. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They should hire a closing coordinator and go sell more real estate. Who knows, knows this stuff? Go ahead. I want everyone to understand there's a, you know, there's a section of Paypal's pipeline that you guys use whenever you communicate with us. You add a note to us and say, you know, the missing doc is there now. We have buttons down there that say, do not reply, do not reply, do not reply. Everybody reviews those buttons. Do not use those buttons. Use the one that says file admin. There's one button that says file admin. Paypal's pipeline is making some changes, but they haven't quite changed it enough. We'd like to remove all of our names off of it. And the main reason is because I work certain days, Debbie works certain days, and Deb works from home. And what happens is if you just send me a note through PayPal's pipeline, your response will get more delayed if I'm not in just on a Monday or Wednesday and I'm you know, reading through a million messages. 
So what you want to do is check the file admin so it goes to a central location. So that if I'm working that day or Deb is working that day or Debbie's working that day, whomever, it gets addressed. So try not to click on the buttons that say do not reply. That means don't click it. Okay. And eventually it'll go away. That, that will disappear, but we haven't quite gotten to that point yet with, with paperless. So that is a major, major issue that we're having. Um, just make sure you use that button. Reply and to admin. Reply right? to file admin. File admin is who you want to talk to. It doesn't matter if it's me, Deb, Debbie, we all do the same thing. You are always welcome to email us directly, personally, too. If you feel like you're not getting a reply from us for some reason, email me directly. Maureen, you're not answering me, or we're not, you know, you're help, help, or whatever. Don't email De uh, Bob and Jim, because you know what they do? They delete them. <laughs> you know who them? I sent them a spam folder. Yeah. <laughs> don't even look at them. So, don't, you know, don't even hit the pin on their names. It's kind of a waste of time. So, that's your that. <laughs> They just delete it. Why not take care when there's a fire burning? That's right. I just see, is your name CC on it? No, yeah. she's got it. She's got it. She's got it. She's I don't need to check that. <laughs> so, um, just watch for updates coming. We are going to do a training class. We're going to record it um, so that everyone has access to it. I'm hoping we can do it maybe on a YouTube version so it can get... Well, it, right, yeah, hopefully we are doing a YouTube version. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll get it all done. It'll be done. It'll be a lot hipper than that one. That thing yeah. put me to sleep in about the first 38 seconds. Yeah. All right. So trust me, when we start talking training, now don't, I, I half joke that about this stuff. All right. It's very important that we are compliant. Okay. And I understand that completely. That's why you guys pound the doors down. Why don't I have my DA? Because we need our documents. We are very uh, uh, insistent about that. However, all right. With what you don't pay us and what you should be making in this business, hire a closing coordinator to be in dialogue with Maureen directly, and you go sell another house while they're trying to figure out if they have the signed seller's disclosure. We have like, many agents that have closing assistants, or they've hired um, closing advantage, and they basically work off of that agent's login, and we know them. We don't even hear from the agent. We just don't. This is some sales assistant calling us or emailing us or asking, but we know. They know what's going on, we know what's going on, and the agent's not even in that whole loop. They're totally removed from it. And it works really good for them. The other thing I want to talk about real, real quick is office dues. Okay, every quarter. Now you my intention. That's in January, me. April, July, and October, we run dues. Okay, we send an email out, tell everybody. Okay, everyone uses, not everyone, a large portion of our agents use credit cards. Credit cards are great, but in this day and age, everyone is getting hacked every month. So what happens is, thank you so much. Good reminder. Anybody else got a check for us? Come on. We'll take them. Next, next time I turn down a check, will be the first time. All right, here we go. You have two options when you sign up to pay dues with us. You can either have your, your checking account auto-debited, or you can do a credit card. Now, I understand a lot of you like to keep your expenses separate. You might have a business credit card you use, and I understand that. But if you're giving us your debit card, a Visa debit card, don't bother. Just give us your routing and your account number. That way, if your card gets hacked and they give you a new card, it doesn't affect your auto debit. Okay. What we're finding is every time I run dues, I get about 50 declinations. And it's not because people don't have credit lines, it's because your cards have all been hacked. So then I spend an entire day re-entering, not your problem, our problem. But I'm just asking you if you have a debit card that you're using. Let's update it to a routing and account number. And the other benefit is if I have your routing and account number, I can pay you your commission directly to your account if you don't get a DA. So it just it benefits you and it helps us tremendously if we use that form of payment versus a credit card. So think about it. If you want to change it, there's an auto debit authorization change sheet under miscellaneous docs. Put it to a routing and account number and it will save. You guys a lot of hassle later, and us a lot of hassle. Help her help you. Yes. Help me help her help you. Very <laughs> <laughs> good. Good job. All right. Now, speaking of hiring out, you know why I do that? Because I would just literally just pull my, I'd shoot myself probably is what I do. I had to do what Maureen does. So we are very grateful for what Maureen does. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. we are. Yes, we are. So, out of trouble, I've never had a front garden, some wood. All right, there you go, exactly. Good job. So, uh, and cups are here. 
All right, let's hear it for the cops. Let's hear it for the cops. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. See, he's coming back now. All right, um, Jim, you want to talk? I think you guys got email yesterday, day before? Forms? All these, we updated the forms, everything else. Check them out. I haven't read the full email yet. Anything you want to lend to that, Jim? No, just what I said in there. Just uh, check it out because uh, we, you know, we work, work really hard to get it all so that it has a good uh, flow to it. And, and then got rid of a lot of forms that I know a lot of you debated anyway. So yeah, <laughs> really it it. condense it. Um, and uh, I really want everyone to make sure that they rely heavily though on the FHR addendums, uh, especially when obviously when you have the buyer side, um, or there's a separate one for listings too. But same thing. But that one's easy to get because we run it. But when you're offering contracts up and stuff, or you know, doing offers, make sure you send that with it. Um, I know REOs are different, but everything else, make sure you send it with it because that and read through it. And, and if they deny it or whatever, just explain it to your client. Say this is we're not going to have this, this, and this. Just so you know, if we're going to move forward, you got to be okay with that because we're still going to require it as our form. So you still got to say sell it will not fill out or sign or whatever, and then still have your buyer sign off on it. But if we represent the buyer, we're a transaction broker in, in that, and we have the buyer representing the offer. We want this signed at least by the bare, bare minimum by the party that we represent. Okay. okay. Just well, because if there's protections in there, um, and I saw your also your other note uh, regarding agency. Yes, we know we are not <laughs> oblivious. We don't have our head in the sand. <laughs> we know that the Florida has come out and said there is an assumption of transaction brokerage relationship. We get that. Okay. That for us. We still like our clients to know, A, what the heck that means, all right? You go poll realtors and they couldn't tell you what a transaction broker is, much less the public, okay? Even though they've told everybody that everybody just knows what transaction broker is, all right? We still, hey, look, if you're a transaction broker, great, get it signed. So they're notifying, hey, look, you're clear on what my duties are here. If you're a single agent, here, great, fine. We do not mandate transaction brokerage, meaning we don't make you be a transaction broker on every deal. There are companies out there that do it. I, as an agent myself, would love to be a single agent. All right. My job was to represent my client to their fullest. And if the other client, you know, I wrote a deal that was beneficial to my client. Hallelujah. That's why you hired me. Okay. That's why I differentiate myself from the others. If I have transaction mandated, now I've got this quandary here. I got hey, well, I got to make them aware of this at least and know that I put this in the contract and so on and so forth. So. Your choice, you can do what you want to do, but we don't mandate that. But we still do mandate that we have a signed agency disclosure of some sort, transaction broker or single agent. Okay. Yeah, and that's one of the biggest things is because we offer both. Right. You know, if we were just a transaction broker place, then we could do away with it. But right. we offer both, so we want to make sure that the client knows that, hey, which one are they doing, basically? How yeah. did you get eliminated from the lease listing package? I did. Right. Yeah. We don't because that lease is listing. not necessary, but I. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Question. The listing package on your offer. Yeah. Is it if, yes. If it's built in there, if it's, then we don't need it another one. Right. If it's That's built into the document. Yeah, the reason okay. why I have it separate is there is because a lot of people use transaction desk with form simplicity, and they might grab a contract out of there and, and not grab one that has it built in. And therefore, now you can grab the because they don't have to buy it anymore. Um, so now you can go in and grab it individually if you're forgetting or grab, having to grab the wrong contract. That's why it's in there. Right. Just make it make sense, right? Okay, we like having all those disclosures in there. We like having the, the Chinese drywall still. We like having the mold disclosure, all this. If it's already built into the contract, if it's already built into it, somebody's disclosure, then we're okay with it. Just point it out to us. See, all right, we're good to go. Hey, look, that was already in there. Okay, we're solid. All right, we're not looking for more paperwork just for the sake of, paper, sake of paperwork. I'm just looking to avoid lawsuits and us making sure all our licenses are good to go so we can go spend positive energy selling more houses rather than defending what we already sold. Fair enough? Okay. And one, one thing I did to the checklist for contracts, um, if anybody in here is brand new and just got your license, or for those out there in the audience, um, or if you know somebody that's getting their license now and is joining and they're coming on board, just to help everybody out on the checklist itself, I bolded this stuff that actually is a contract that or an offer. When you put an offer, a lot of times <laughs> new, new agents and nothing against it because you don't know about forms, is that you send stuff over to them that is really more internal. So if you look at the contract, section the required section the top part is more internal it's not hot bolded and but the bold section i think it's number seven through 11 or something like that those are what is what you would send to the other side right as a, the listing agent doesn't a, need your da request form yeah right? like, actually you know what they do send it over to them 
so you can see how much I'm only taking 250 bucks. Like, what the heck? I need to go work for that guy over there. Who hasn't seen it? Tell me, I include that. Hold that one up. <laughs> Let's let these listing agents know how much it. Yeah. As opposed to this, right? Exactly. Here's let me be a single agent for you, but in order for me to do that, I, I would I'm going to ask you to sign this. Right. All right. Perfect. Great. Great concepts there. Awesome. Bobby, am I going to say something about the, um, the legal advice form? Is now new. Anytime that you have, you represent a buyer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We do that. How many guys were at the David Rankin um, uh, Bank Owned Seminar? Remember we did the Bank Owned in November uh, over the thing. Um, one of the things that we've come up with now, and it's on there, right, Jim? Is it here? Yeah. Okay. It's a. It's basically a, an acknowledgement, okay? And it basically says to a client, because here's the thing. Here's what came out of that. Of several things, but it was really good information, by the way. And it's on our YouTube channel, right? You can go back and watch it. Um, but uh, if you missed that, one of the things that came out of that is that uh, agents are really concerned. We know the FAR bar. Well, some of us do, okay? Uh, contract real well, but then all of a sudden we, we present an offer to Fannie Mae property on this far bar contract as is, like they request, and they send back, it's an 11-page contract offer, and then we get back an 18-page addendum that undoes everything in the contract, correct? And so with that in mind, we're like, heck, I don't know that one, all right? And nor do I want you to purport to them that you know that one, okay? <laughs> And so there's this acknowledgement that says it has different things that they can sign off on. Hey, look, we're advising you. You're buying a foreclosure. This is a totally different type of contract. You should have, you should have not only you should you have the property inspected, you should have this contract inspected, this addendum inspected. We're advising you that we're making no claims as to what's in here, all right, and that you should have an attorney or some legal counsel take a look at this thing. If you choose not to, that's great. I understand. But... I think, and David said his, if he did, it would range anywhere from $250 to $400, depending on the size of the thing. But it is well worth it to them to make sure they even understand the difference between marketable title and insurable title. A huge thing that came out of that uh, thing, right? So big wake-up calls as they're doing it. So that acknowledgement is on there, and we are going to mandate that on all bank-owned properties now that have these addendums that basically replace the contract. It's an acknowledgement that, hey, look, you know, now that I know this, and I just recommend that you have give them a chance to do that. There's a lot of other things that we'll talk about in that class that came out of it if you get a chance to watch it. But one of the other things is that you may want to have the buyers suggest that they hire their own title company to do a title search on that property. Yeah, there's a there's a title company down in Miami, all right, that's doing the closing, right? Okay, every time, and they're you're. We there are issues, all right. What's the difference in a special warranty deed versus a general warranty deed? And a special warranty deed means that they're going to warrant it from the day that they own the property, which sometimes is the day before they close it with you, right? They've owned it for one day. So okay, we'll give you a special warranty day. We we're good that for that one day. You're like, uh, what the heck, all right? And Deanne, you had a, a point where you did because of that, you did a yes, municipal lien search, right? And I wanted to say that I was reading through that far bar as its core contract. Yeah. And line 141 on the other one is where it states in municipal lien search. That's not in this contract. Yeah. Because I looked today. So I don't know what that's going to mean, but because of that class mm -hmm. and the whole mark, the whole title thing and conversation, that contract that I wrote and where it says the the seller's going to pay assessments or the buyer will pay them once it's closed. All right. So I talked to the title company who got title commitment. And I called her and I said, hey, and did you run municipal lien search yet? Oh, yeah, but I just don't have results. And I just thought, no, you did. You don't even have me to do it. Yeah. Well, I said, per the contract. My kids say, did you make your bed? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So in per the minute. contract line 141, but that's not in the new one. But I would say, per David, do this, ask for that. It can be an extra 70 or 75 bucks. But in my case, it wasn't that it turned up a municipal lien, but it turned up an assessment on reclaimed water. That even the seller didn't know, which was probably sitting there when they bought the property at twelve dollars a month, and because I had checked, the seller was going to pay. It saved my client thirteen hundred bucks. See, and that, you know what? Referrals come from stuff like that. All right, yeah. hey, you got to 
he's my agent, Deanne. She's the bomb. She made us do a municipal link search. She found this water bill. Let me tell you that story. And let me my five friends tell five friends. We tell 15 friends. We tell 1,500, 150, tell 150. Next thing you know, 22,500. Sing the praises of Deanne Nelson on Facebook. Right? I'm just telling you, that's where it goes if you do these things right. Okay? And represent your client and dig in and do that. So, knowledge is power. Speaking of which, knowledge, training is coming. I, you got my email that we are revamping everything. Okay, it's going to be really, we're going to start, the cool thing is once we get it down, all right, and we're going to work on that tomorrow, right? We're going to get it down. Yeah. All right, we're going to get it down, and we're going to be able to record classes like this, okay? Like the other day, uh, Manny uh, posted on our group page about uh, the, um, what's that thing called? Chris, the other contract, right? The, the FAR, it used to be the FAR, the contract, not the FAR bar, <coughs> Chris, and the differences. So we're going to, we'll be, we'll be going for classes and classes and classes. All right, we'll get you the websites. It's actually, we our own websites. It's the realestatelearningchannel.com. All right, be available from our website, but we're going to make it available to everybody. We want us to be the go to source for real estate training. So, real estate training, uh, training channel.com, powered by Future Home. All right, and that's where this is all coming. And we're just going to throw content and content and content. Cool thing is, all YouTube based. All right, grab your iPad, grab your i, whatever, grab your, you know, Galaxy, whatever, S, wherever you are, and run to the gym, hop on the treadmill. Plug that bad boy in. All right, you've already downloaded it and watched your training. Okay, that's the goal. Because right now, it's the stuff we've been using is good, but it's also on an antiquated system where you have to have internet connection and this, you know, URL this long to get the, the special link download for that thing and all that kind of stuff. Which is all going to be totally revamping everything. So we're going to and everything we do, every office meeting, everything is just going to be thrown on there. We're going to you you want data, you want information, it's going to be there. We're going to answer questions like this. You have questions that come up. Hey, what about this? Boom. Seven seven minute video. We're gonna record. Boom, boom, boom. We'll hear your answers. Go. Okay. So look for that. That's what we're, that's one of the things Q1 that we're real excited about where we're headed uh, in this. We're totally revamping everything the way there, there are other people doing this. We did some research. Other people are doing this, but it's all behind. It's all behind the veil, right? It's all behind the curtain. You gotta have special access. You gotta be you know be in the right now. There's so many new agents getting in the business that we're just you know say hey you know what here it is 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 here's why why would you have to go behind the veil. Now, here it is. Boom, 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 boom. We're just going to give, 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 give. All right? And that's just how we're going to continue to grow in doing that. Second thing is, and a lot of you are excited. I've, I've talked to some of you already. Jim and I are heading up this afternoon to go look at potential office spaces in Wesley Chapel. Okay? We're going to try and look at that new Tampa, Wesley Chapel corridor, Bruce B. Downs, 56 um, area. Okay? Wiregrass, all that there. Just have another location for you guys to be able to pop in. It'll be satellite-type offices. won't be a manned office, if you will, but it'll be... Um, you know, same key card, everything will work, pop in, same copier, same, you know, furniture, same pictures on the wall, probably, everything else, all right? So you feel like you walk in McDonald's, and men's is on the left, ladies is on the right, we know it, all right? And here we go. Okay, so that's, that's our goal for these, but another spot, so we'll keep you posted on that. Hopefully, it'll all come together quickly, um, and uh, and we'll keep you posted on that as well. Cool? Awesome. I'm telling you, this exciting time to, to, to be here, because this, this is the year of... Do. All right. Welcome to the year of do. Here we go. All right. Here's what we're going to do. A couple, couple things I need you to do this year. Decide. You're going to consciously choose to live in a spirit of abundance. Consciously choose to live in a spirit of abundance right now. I live in a world of abundance. There is plenty out there right now for me, for you, for Harvey, for everybody else. We aren't dealing with lack. Lack thinking, keep it at the door. All right. You see, if you. They were, man, man, you, you, were, you were with me when I walked in the door, all right? Trust me, you walk into a place like this when they have dietary restrictions on these people with a bag of donuts and, and, and bagels, I was like a pipe pipe. When well, they were just following me right in, it's like, here we go, people. All right, let's roll. <laughs> here we go. It's awesome. They're like, hey, there's the abundance we've been waiting for, all right? Here it is. Constantly living. We're going to wake in each morning reminding yourself of your blessings. You guys have been 100 cares. You know that we what's one of our morning rituals, right? Is to write our blessings down. Okay? We're gonna wake up every morning and talk about how we're blessed. All right. Not how it was funny. Uh, at that same seminar, uh, there was a guy from another office that came, he got there early at 8:30. He was not gonna start till 9 30. He misread his email. So he was there. And uh, it was funny because Jim and I were setting up and Cheryl was there, and um, he was just like, uh, not with our company, obviously, he hadn't been in many hundred K clubs at all, I tell you that. Because he was just like, Oh yeah. Like three people in the whole county get all the listings. Like, what are you talking about? He said, 
Oh yeah, they just, you know, they're on calls with fam and 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 I said, dude, you need to change your attitude, man. I said, well, I was, oh yeah, truly and so they're killing our business. That's just the other two. And so I just made a point and said, hey, look, and I in the class when we were introducing, I said, I, I hear to tell you, if you wake up every morning saying truly and Zillow's killing my business, guess what's gonna happen that day? Business is done. You are empowering them. Don't give them the power. All right? Know the game, play it, and move, and move on. Okay, it is what it is. Let's figure it out and, and, and move on. All right? Forget about this. We're not going to live in the spirit of lack. We're not going to look for excuses. We're going to look for reasons why we're going to get stuff done. Because this is the year of you. Expect the best of yourself and others each and every day. Wake up in the morning and say, you know what? I'm not expecting people to be rude. I'm expecting people to be nice. All right? And guess what? It tends to get that way. All right? When I walk around and I'm, I'm like, you guys look at me well again. She cracked me up. I saw Facebook post. You mind if I share this yesterday? Okay. She said she needed a bumper sticker, people. All right, you guys see the from Manny's? Because she's going to put on their honk if you think I'm sexy, and then she's going to sit at green lights and not move. Be great for my, my self esteem, right? Like, yeah, everybody just loves me. <laughs> that was awesome. That was just hilarious. I love that one. <laughs> just sit there for about three minutes. Just get honk and honk and honk and say, yeah, that's right. Walking your head up, my own All right, start, start walking around like a rooster a little bit. You just start going around. So we're going to expect the best of ourselves and others each and every day. When you do that, good things happen. All right, it's just, it's just a better way to live. There's a great book out there by, called, by Og Mandino called The Better Way to Live. All right, write it down, read it. It's an awesome uh, philosophy. Smile and be friendly. Then you go, I don't have any business, I'm new to the area, and I don't have all my friends, though, they, uh, my, their aunts are realtors, and I don't get, look at that mess. Go meet some new people. You know what? I'm going to give you a million dollar idea. Ready? Right? Go to Facebook, and you're going to see a bunch of people. Buy one of these. Okay? You want to be a rock star in an airport? Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, when I was sitting on my flight, all right, everyone's looking around. I said, hey, you know what? I popped out. I took one, one plug, put this in, and now I made one, two, three, four, five, six friends. Okay? I'm telling you, how easy is that to meet people, right? You were, I was like, you know, people are probably, can I buy you a coffee? You know, it's awesome, man. Uh, uh, okay, I can pay for this thing 18 times over. Go do that at a Starbucks, right? Go and do that, or, you know, at the Barnes & Noble, wherever you plug in. If you're going to take your laptop and go do work somewhere, why huddle up and, and be, you know, in a cave? Why not go someplace, where is it, Randy Friedman? Randy Friedman does a ton of business, all right, in our, in our company. And his laptop on the back, when you flip it open, it says, ask me about real estate. He goes, yeah, I'm sitting at Starbucks, and I'm just working and doing my stuff. People come up and ask me about real estate. All right? What the heck? All right? How much does that cost you? Uh, nothing. All right? Jeez, I'm just telling you, think of creative ways. But this is an awesome, I got this idea from somebody. I can't remember who it was. All right? But it's awesome. It's, and again, yesterday, I was a rock star. People thought, you know, I could have got much dinner and breakfast from the next day by, by you know, it really parlayed it correctly from my flight had to leave. So I had to pick it up and go. So expect the best of yourself, smile, and expect smiles back, all right? Some of you wonder, why isn't everybody friendly? It's because you're walking around like a freaking sourpuss, right? Okay, why is it, nobody's nice? Well, you aren't either, okay? Just, you know, come on. Understand that the pie is huge and ever-increasing, all right? Get this down. The pie is huge and ever-increasing, therefore there's plenty for you and for others, all right? Just because I succeed doesn't mean somebody else isn't. All right? We can all exceed together. Succeed. Exceed as well. Okay? We can all just continue to grow because the pie is ever growing. It's not a minimalist pie. All right? We don't deal with lack. All right? Somebody got that? We can consciously choose to live in the spirit of abundance. All right? Now, this is going to require discipline, not common among the masses. You want to set yourself apart? Start to do some of these things. All right? I'm just telling you, you will set yourself apart. It's because of being who you are. That is not common, all right? But it's going to require discipline, all right? It's a nasty word for us, all right? Get that done. All right. Cultivate relationships. Here's the other thing I want you to do is cultivate relationships. Stay true to your self-proclaimed, what I quote, quote, unquote, priorities. 
If I ask you all your priorities right now, you know your priorities are God, family, my you know civic work, and my nonprofit work, and then da 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 da, and then finally down here is work. And then if I look at your calendar, it was completely flipped. All right. So I'm going to cultivate the relationships I have most importantly with your family. Some of you need to go back and revisit. And I'm not talking about extended family necessarily. We had a great Christmas. Bob, Jeanette, Sam, Joseph, and Samuel. All right. That's the relationship that's most important to me. Grandmas and grandpas, great. Uncles and aunts, great. That's fine. All right. The thing I'm responsible for are those. Okay. Those four. Those are the uh, relationships that I have to protect most of all. All right. We're going to go deeper. This, you guys in 100 Cares, you know this one, right? Go deeper with a few rather than shallow with many. All right. You walk around. I got 7,642 friends. All right. <laughs> Okay, uh, all right, I beg to differ. All right, go deeper with a few, get to know people rather than shallow with many. All right, become that person that people just want to um, engage with. All right, and, 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 and be that, and, and you know what's going to take? Listening, all right, you're actually going to be attuned to what they're saying. You're going to, when you say, how are you doing today? You're actually going to care <laughs> what they say instead of just be a perfunctory, oh yeah, we got to get this out of the way, how are you doing? All right? Actually hear what's going on, all right? Understand the power of the referral and how to give before you get. All right? Referrals, people think referrals all the time. Oh, i got to get referrals, all right? Got to get referrals. i got to go ask for referrals. No, 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 no. You go give, and then you'll get. So you 100 cares understand the power of the generosity cycle beginning with giving first. And that's where it begins. All right. How much better are inbound calls than outbound calls if you work at a call center? Right? Okay. If I'm trying to sell you ATT Uverse, all right, I would much rather be on the side of the of the of the office that takes a call and says, Hi, my name's John, and I'd like to sign up for ATT Uverse. Hey, great, John, let me help you out. All right, as opposed to beep, bop, 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 bop. Sorry to interrupt your dinner, but would you like to buy at t U-verse, right? Why go chasing people? We're gonna, you know what? You guys gotta come to 100K. We're launching 100K first week of February. Learn to attract business rather than chase it. Nobody wants to be chased anyway, so we're gonna teach you how to attract business as opposed to go out and pursuing it. Pursue business, please. All right? It gets out of there as fast as they can. You're not here to pursue, you're here to attract. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, this also is going to require discipline, uncommon to the masses. Here's the cool thing about discipline. It sucks doing it, but it's a huge differentiator. Huge. My son Joseph's in sixth grade going to seventh grade. He is attempting to get into a very uh, uh, prevalent uh, prep school in the Nashville area. All right? Been around since 1876. You know, this thing is just it's an awesome school. All boys, all right, developing... Uh, gentlemen, scholars, and athletes. All right, that's what they're getting. You have to be all three. All right, it's just an incredible school. But he has to take this ISEE test, which is an independent school entrance exam. It's like an SAT. I'm quite frank, we got these you know, study books like he did, you know, Princeton Review kind of things. So we've been half an hour a day, we've been knocking out, even during vacation. And you tell, you know what? You tell a 12 year old it's time to study during his spring, during his Christmas break. Man, that's not fun, right? But I say, you know what, Joseph? This is going to require discipline uncommon to the masses. All right, we're going to teach you. If you watch Brian, Fa Brian Heckman's Facebook post, and he's, he and his son are reading how to, what to say when you talk to yourself. Boy, you start to, seriously. That stuff is powerful. All right? Yeah, but I can't get my son off Minecraft. All right? Get him off Minecraft. Okay? And do stuff like that. All right? And do some other things instead. Discipline is huge. We're going to live purposefully, okay? We're going to live on purpose. We're not just going to wander through life. Uh, you know, I just wonder what today is going to bring. Screw that. I'm going to tell today what it's going to bring, right? I'm on purpose because here's I'm going to wake up this morning, and I'm going to get on purpose right now. Here we go, all right? Game on. No time to waste, all right? I'm not going to sit there and wander around and sit there and wonder what happened. You know, this see. No, get up and go and do. Don't just say it, but do it. Spend time to reflect and consider a true, principled purpose for your life. 
Okay, this is going to take some time. You need to go back and think. Okay, because guess what? Uh, property managers, mortgage people, rekeying people, you were not put on earth. Real estate people, you were not put on earth to. Here's what's not going to be. I hope this is not on your epitaph or on your tombstone, right? <clears throat> Harvey Simon. Here lies Harvey Simon. He knew the far ball like the back of his hand. <laughs> Screw that, right? Okay? That is not why you're here. You are not here to do that. All right? You are here to fulfill a huge purpose. All right? I believe in a higher power. All right? Your higher powers put you here to do something huge. Each one of us. Each and every one of us has, you need to, and you know it, you know what that is, all right? If you just took a minute to slow it down and think about it for a second, you know what that purpose is. It might be orphans in Haiti. It might be uh, uh, homeless people here in Tampa. It might be shelter dogs. It might be uh, underprivileged kids and helping them to read. I'm telling you, you help an underprivileged kid read, all right, game over. Because you know why? If they can't read, they're screwed. Okay? If I can read, I can learn anything. Teach me how to read, and I'll learn it. If I have the craving for it, I'll go get it. If I can't read, I'm stuck. Right? Exactly. You know? Go help. Big brothers, big sisters. Find a passion. All right? Find what you're here on earth to do. And when I say a true principle, now, again, I can tell none of us are in politics, and that's good, because they couldn't under, didn't know what a principle belief is that their life depended on every time they try and make a decision they wet their finger and figure out oh this poll says 50.1 percent so i'm going that way okay no i'm principal i'm going to do it regardless here i am okay <clears throat> base your daily weekly monthly annual and even longer goals or benchmarks on this principled purpose all right and it's not 187,612 bucks all right that's not your purpose Okay, that could be, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I love, I think money is a good way to measure how we, you know, are living. Are we disciplined to do what we're supposed to be doing? And it can do a lot of great things, all right? But I'm going to base my daily, what am I doing to fulfill my purpose today, this week, this month, this year, and or this five, ten year, whatever that plan might be, okay? So think about those. Take time, here's what we miss. Take time to consistently monitor your progress and growth against this principal purpose. Do this, I suggest weekly. It's another one of the rituals we study in the 100K Club. It's called the, the Sunday night ritual, all right, where we sit down and reflect and say, okay, what did I do? Here were, my, here were my benchmarks. Here were my goals. Here's what I wanted to achieve, all right, and here's what I did. All right, what happens if you guys have heard me say this 100 times. You've been new, you haven't, so you've heard it. This will be the first, all right? <clears throat> Too many times. We go through special January. What are we, January 6th? All right, Jeanette's birthday, all right? So make sure you tell my wife, Jeanette, happy birthday when you don't see her. All right? Um, is huge. Oh, let's set our goals, all right? You make them, you set them, you do them, you put them on the shelf, and you never look at them again until December 28th. All right? Too late to make any adjustments. If I wasn't making the progress I needed to make, how would I even know if I'm not even going to look at those things again, right? So you got to look at them consistently so you know, hey, I need to make a little small adjustment. I'm a little off here. Oop, I'm a little off. I'm doing well. That's great. But you know what? That's a, do, I do it often, okay? So take, take a look at that kind of stuff and do it. Now this is going to take a discipline, not common to the masses, all right? Here's the good news about this. The good news about this is that you do just some of these minor things. They're big, but if you discipline yourself to do it, guess what? Upper one half of one percent of the population of the united states period you want to take yourself apart and do something di different than other people just do these things all right invest in yourself your mind your body and your soul okay mind commit to expand your knowledge through education and reading <coughs> okay pick up books commit to do read x amount of books this year all right and, I'm, and trust me, I have to set my goal. I have two different, you know, I don't have a goal for this one because I love those, you know, I still imagine myself that little bag over there is my go bag. I still think, you know, my wife, Jeanette, my, I might be in the CIA. You never know. All right. And so I just have this, you know, this alter life that I love to live. I'm just secret CIA agent. So I like to write all those spy novels. But that's not the kind of books I'm talking about. In addition to that, I'm reading Cubby and, and Blanchard and 
all these different ones to expand myself and grow and who I want to be, all right? Who I want to be interpersonally with, uh, with my family, who I want to be spiritually, who I want to be uh, financially, all right? I'm going to go study people that have done it, that have achieved where I want to be. I'm not going to study the people that haven't. Who cares about them, all right? Why would I go sit and hang out with them, all right? So just commit yourself to expand your mind. Read. Put down the... I don't have time to read, Bob. Yeah, but I got time to figure out who gave who a rose on whatever show the bats in. I don't have any time. All right? You yes. I see. All right. Put the stinking clicker down, all right, and pick up a book. I'm just telling you. All right? Pick up a book and put the clicker down. Are right? you wasting time in front of the, the television? Period. All right? You need to go. How about here's a good one? Live like you tell your kids to live. All right? How about that? Okay. Fine. Treat your body with care. Eat well. Exercise hard. Sleep properly. Okay? Who's the guys who complain? You told us to eat well all the time. You bring donuts and bagels here. All right? <laughs> well, that's because this group would throw me out. Come to the 100K Club. All right? And you're going to find bananas, apples, oranges, and nuts. All right? It's your only options. All right? We don't bring carbs to that. This one I'd get thrown out if you guys brought me in, you know, if I, if I dare, dare come here without carbs. All right? Plus, here's the other thing we were talking about, right, is that, okay, so if I didn't, anybody could not eat donuts if I didn't bring them. Right? And they aren't here. But I dare you to not eat a donut when I bring them. All right? I dare you to drive, because guess what? Am I going to be with you in the car tomorrow when you drive past Dunkin' Donuts? All right? I right, choose you. All right? Yeah, you need to do automatic here, right? What's that? Okay, very good. All right. Eat well. I'm telling you, when you start to eat well, you'll feel the difference. Okay? Exercise hard. All right? Some of you exercise, period. Let's start there. All right? After that, exercise hard. Get your heart rate up. Get things going. You're, you're, you know, here's what happens. When you start to do this discipline stuff, it's a two-fold effect. You walk out with your head held higher. All right, once you are showered and ready to go, I walk out, I attack the day this morning. All right, got my knocked out this morning at the hotel gym. I walk out of the hotel and two things happen. I feel like people are, hey, what's up with him? He's got it going on, right? He's got it going on. Plus, it helps him when my head's held higher, I kind of alleviate the chin anyway, right? <laughs> the higher I hold my head, all right, one of my chins disappears, so it's, it's a little better anyway. So you just keep, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dual effect, dual effect there, all right? Eat well, sleep properly. Yeah, but Bob, I don't have time. BS. You're making choices with your time. Okay? You're making choices with your time. The, one of the best things you can do for your health is to sleep well. I'm just telling you. All right? It, it really is. I started working diligently to get seven and a half to eight hours of sleep a night. All right? Mm -hmm. Impossible. Yes. Tell yourself it's impossible. Tell people Fannie Mae or, or, or Truly and Zillow are killing your business. What's going to happen? Tell yourself right now, oh, there's no way I can sleep eight hours. All right, you could, but you have, don't have the time to do it. Find it. Treat your body well, okay? Decide you're going to do that. Your soul. Earnestly sleep, seek to, reconnect, to connect or reconnect with the higher power. All right? Those of you the first time you've heard me, oh, he brought up God. Okay? Guess what? Welcome to Future Home. All right? Here we are. Okay? I'm not trying to proselytize you, all right? It's telling you, you know what? You need to find out and realize that there is a higher power and you aren't it. Okay? Okay? It's fact, right? And if somebody's out there and you need to connect to that, all right? Earnestly to seek to, to connect. And you know what? Go find, yeah, the Bob, churches are screwed up. Yeah, I agree. Guess why? They're screwed up because the people are in them. All right? Okay, people can screw up anything. And it all started back. There was a tree in the middle of the garden, all right? It's tough. Uh, it's gone, been downhill since that. All right, since that apple pit. All right, so just realize that's okay. Go find like minded people to hang with. All right, that struggle just like you are, that can help you grow, that you can help them grow, and you can connect with. You need to reconnect if you haven't been there in a while. This is going to require discipline, not common among the masses. Invest your talents wisely. Find a worthy organization to give you your time faithfully. A worthy organization, all right, and give your time faithfully. Check them out. What do they do? How are they doing it? How are they spending? If I'm going to give them money, how are they spending the money I give them? 
all right? If I'm going to invest my time, how are they utilizing my time? Are they being good stewards of my resources when I give them stuff? Are they doing things well with that? If they're not, don't do it. Should it also fit into your purpose and your passion? Absolutely, right? And what happens is when you start to give up yourself, next thing you know, you're feeling so much better about you, all right? Because you're actually living that purpose, that purpose-driven life. Good book, by the way. Don't be afraid to read that, all right? Find a worthy organization to give you your time faithfully. By the way, here's just a quick aside. The nice thing about doing it with a nonprofit like that, okay, I can check them out and say, how do I like the way you're spending my money? So I'm going to give my time and my money elsewhere. All right. Unfortunately, I don't get to do that with the government. All right. So with that in mind, all right, that's why I love doing things where the nonprofits, true nonprofits, true well-run nonprofits can do great things. All right. Honor and respect your family by earning an, an income commensurate with the talents you have been given. Some of you. I'm a firm believer that my higher power is going to call me to task one day, all right? He's going to ask for an accounting of what I did, all right? And I'm not trying to earn my way in there, but I still need to be responsible and say, hey, look, you know what? You gave me these talents and this talent and this ability, and I squandered it or I didn't squander it. I'm hoping on the not squander road side, all right? Each one of us right here, I'm looking around the room, each of you, all right? Are just destined on the precipice. Let me borrow a word that Joseph's learning for his ISEE class. All right, on the precipice of success. If you would just allow yourself to tie into who you are. All right, each one of us. So here's the cool thing: when we start giving first and, and getting referrals and start attracting business, the people that are attracted to Lori Kaler are not the same people that would be attracted to me, and not the same people that would be attracted to Abby. You know, the cool thing is that's part of the abundant thing, right? Is that, oh, you know what? The people, you know, there are people that would look at me and say, dude, you talk way too fast. I'm out of here. Okay. All right. I'm out. I'm gone. Other people hang with me. I, we're good to go. I, I, can, I can connect with you. We're, we're, I'm, I'm tracking with you. But you know what? There, there are people that need to be connect with people that talk slower than I do. And that's good, right? That we all attract different people. All right. So it's just each one of you could just knock this, the, Backside, I'll be clean it up, all right, of this business, all right, if you decide to do it, okay? It's all a decision, all right? It's, I mean, I said the email, is it going to be easy? No. Is it worth it? Heck yeah. All right? Absolutely. I guarantee you it'll be worth it. Work to live by the 10-20-70 rule, all right? He's called the 70-20-10 rule, now I call it the 10-20-70, all right? <clears throat> now I'm going to step on some more toes, so you better tuck them in a little bit here. Um, Give 10% of everything you earn, okay? Church, synagogue, other nonprofit, all right? Whatever you do, 10%. First, okay? Bible says give up your first fruits, not what's left over, okay? Your first fruits. So 10%, 20% you're going to save, invest, all right? Self-directed IRA. There's so, so many benefits that you guys have by being independent uh, contractors. You running your own business, all right? Oh, uh, we don't have a 401k plan. If I had a 401, if I worked for IBM, I would save money, but I don't have that. Yes, you have a lot more advantages than the guy who punches a clock at IBM. All right, the tax laws are out there, available for you. Take advantage of them. Invest 20%. Learn to live on 70. 10, 20, 70. Give 10, save 20. Live on 70. Bob, you don't know my situation. Yeah, I do. I've been there. All right? Been there twice. All right? Wrote the book, bought the t-shirt, and everything else. Okay? I get it. Learn to do it. I'm teetering with the idea. You know, we need to teach a, a financial peace university class at the school, at the, in our office. All right? Okay? I'm telling you. In the meantime, all right, I'll, I'll, I'm going to see what it takes to, to, to bring that in. Cause, because... I'm just telling you, you start to live with the peace that occurs when you are walking out the door knowing that you are debt-free, all right? You know, Dave Ramsey, Financial Peace University is Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey actually lives in uh, the same city I live in, Tennessee. And it's funny because you see all these bumper stickers, not me and he's a bumper sticker. Like that's, we're in the Bible Belt. We would never do something like that, all right? <laughs> but you see all these bumper stickers around? It says, debt is normal. Why be normal? All right, it's all Dave Ramseyites. All right, running around. Okay, debt is normal. Why be normal? Okay, we weren't designed to, to do this. 
All right, we were designed to live free and not be burdened down and, 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 and overburdened with the, with the baggage of debt. Okay, I get it. We live in a society that tells us we have to have it. All right, that's okay. It's going to require discipline uncommon among the masses. All right, trust me, the masses of all the things I've said, the masses do not live 10, 20, 70. All right, Brian Heckman sees them all day long. Do they live 10, 20, 70, Brian? No. He gets them, but that's why you go to Brian, he can get a 57% ratio <laughs> debt to DTI done. All right? So learn to live this way. I'm telling you, it's powerful. All right? By the way, am I telling you things because I've, I've accomplished them all? No. Am I, have I, have I uh, been this way since day one? Did I come out of the womb like this? Heck no. All right? Trust me. I grew up in the hood, the hood of the hood. All right? And I had to learn this stuff. Did my parents teach me this? No. All right? My t parents taught me the exact opposite of this stuff. Oh, you know, McDougal's never win. McDougal's don't own real estate. McDougal's don't do this. McDougal's that. McDougal's that. Uh, McDougal's, you know, she... <laughs> I told you my dad's plaque on my dad got rest his soul for a long time now, right? My dad plaque on his desk. If everything seems to be going right, you've obviously overlooked something. <laughs> well, that's a way to attack the day, huh? <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. And the fact that I still remember that, all right, Chad Hemstetter would have something to say about that, wouldn't he, Brian? The fact that I remember that, that is grain. That has driven a groove in my brain that I, 43 years later, Remember that, okay? That's powerful. Be careful what you let your mind see, all right? You get to talk it out of it, all right? So, do this discipline. Here's some final thoughts. <clears throat> Stay accountable. Worthy, uh, a worthy accountability partner is more precious than gold, <clears throat> okay? I'm talking about a true accountability partner. Not someone's going to blow smoke up your backside. You say, that's okay, that's okay. Go ahead and have, to have another donut. Right. Okay, you deserve it. You know what I mean? No, I'm talking a worthy accountability partner who's going to kick your backside and you can kick theirs. All right? I happen to be married to mine, so it's, you know, kind of works out well that way. Okay? But having that kind of accountability partner is worth their weight and gold. Doesn't feel like it. You hate it. Your initial reaction is screw you. All right? Okay? But at the end of the day, you'll thank them for it, right? Who are the teachers you remember most? Are there ones that just, you know, hey, let's pass you along if you don't? No, I remember Mr. Johnson in, you know, 10th grade biology. I hated that class, but boy, I remember it now. All right, ask me what photosynthesis is, and bam, I got it. Okay? Those are the kind of people you want. Surround yourself with people who are going to challenge you. Stay connected. Jim and I have had this discussion many times. 100% of the agents who leave the business, all right, because very few people leave our company. A couple do, but um, most of them come back. But the ones who leave us end up leaving the business just because they didn't make it, right? 100% um, are agents who have not engaged in a group dynamic. We haven't seen them, right? Now, we, we're just shy of 800 agents now, okay? That's powerful, all right? There's power in those numbers, by the way, all right? Very powerful, all right? But <clears throat> of those who end up leaving the business, they are not hanging out. All right? They're not getting around it. We are social beings. All right? As much as you say, I'm an introvert, BS, you still like to be around people. All right? And because of that, you need to come hang out with other introverts then. Okay? Come hang out. Let us rub off on you. All right? You rub off on us. What you have to offer, we need. What we have to offer, you need. That's what the dynamics, the synergy that occurs. All right? Allow yourself to be around it. Okay? Allow yourself to be around. Stay honest with yourself and others. Okay? <laughs> the worst person in the world you can lie to is you. I've done it. All right? I've done it, and it stinks living that way. Okay? Lying to myself. Just not. Plus, I'm not smart enough to lie for too long because I get caught. All right? I mean, Bill Clinton's a genius, all right? You I mean, keep everything straight. What I tell her, what I tell him, you know what I mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? Or most politicians, not just Bill Clinton, by the way, but most politicians. So stay honest with yourself and others. Stay disciplined. This is the big differentiator, all right? All right? When you want to do something else, all right? Let's go study for that ISEE, Joseph. All right? And I tell him, all I tell him, he goes, Oh, Dad, I don't want to. I said, I know you don't, but that's why you 
are going to win and others won't. All right. This is what I'm, I'm just telling you. I'm going to help you. All right. Get to the point why you are going to do well on that on that entrance exam and others who are just going to walk into it the first time. All right. Are going to be totally overwhelmed. All right. You got this. You got this. You got this. Okay. Say this one. Share a way of life with others. All right. I'm sure to tell you we've grown. We were at six. We we grew 25. It's funny. I put on the email. We grew 25 percent on our agent count. All right. You'll say, oh yeah, big deal. You grew from four to five. Right. Because anybody can say they grew 25 percent. We had four agents last year. We have five agents this year. It's 25 percent growth. All right. Okay. We're talking. Actually, we're over 25 percent. We were just north of 600 agents last year, and now we're uh, almost 800. Okay. That's one thing to say. That's another thing to say. We grew by 187 agents last year. All right, and that's a net net of people leaving the business and so on and so forth. So that's you know net net numbers. Share our way of life. I'm just telling you, we've got agents that are kicking this business in the backside. All right, uh, someone just provided this for me. Uh, we got Mike Separano who's with our office. Total volume 16.5 million in real estate. Okay, guess how much you paid us? Four grand. All right, take that, Remax. Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson, fifteen point eight. That's gonna kill Chris that he lost by seven hundred thousand. Kill him. All right. Here's the thing with Chris. Chris didn't even cap. He does high end deals. He didn't even cap with us. Paid us less than four grand, and probably made close to four hundred grand. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Why should it be that way? Is Chris the one who generated the business or did it teach your home? Chris did. I'm just telling you. All right. Do we think it's a nice place to house your business here? Absolutely. But it's still your business. All right. It's your business. Good place to do it. Share this with others. We've got room. Paperless pipeline. Is there a limit on how many people we can have a paperless pipeline? Good. Let's get to 1,600. Okay. Why not? Share the good news. I'm just telling you. We are growing. All right. I think said in my email, 100% debt free. Every time we grow, we don't know. I'm, I'm Dave Ramsey, baby. Okay. Future homes been debt free. We're not expanding for that sake of expanding. I did that at one point. All right. So my accountability partner, all right, reined me in by making me sleep in the guest bedroom for three straight weeks. Right. That'll do it to you. Rain myself back in. All right. Okay. Rain back in. And now we're living, man. Lean, mean, real estate selling machine. Is what future home is. And that's not because of future home, that's because of y'all. Had to drop a little Tennessee on you. That's because of y'all. All right. What's that? See, look at that. We got down, uh, we got other see. Denise Hobbs, 8.7, 7. Cindy Hayden, 8.78. Uh, John Brokolakis, who's not here because he's diving for a cross right now, 7.3. All right. Tom, uh, Tom Orlando. Where is he? Tom Orlando, 6.1. No, Man Manuela Woodrum in our own presence, 6.1. Here's a girl. <laughs> Two years ago, came to 100K and said, you know what? I just want a cat. All right? She's, I just want a cat. I want a dinner. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Okay. All right? And she has gone from there to where that is. That's incredible. We'll get you the, with the group numbers, by the way, because last week we were number two in the, all of Tampa Bay. Ruttenberg was number one, numbers of transactions, we were number two. I have no doubt that we're going to be in the same spot. Okay? All right? That's the kind of stuff you can tout. We are 800 agents strong. Number two in numbers of transactions in all of Tampa Bay. Yeah, but I need the power of the balloon. BS. All right? Balloon this. All right? <laughs> okay? Because you know what? You know what? There are a lot of good. I'm not. And you, there are good Remax agents, good Keller Williams agents. The problem is, people do business. National Association of Realtors survey: ten thousand consumers. They checked out ten thousand consumers. You know what they found? Four percent chose their realtor based upon the company they were with. Four percent. Okay. The other ninety-six said it's all based on my agent's reputation, or I know her, or guess what? She gave to me first. She gave me a good referral for a guy that did my roof. And so, who else would I think about when it was time for me to sell my sell my uh, my home? All right. So for me, the four percent that you would lose by not being a gold jacket wearing, balloon toting, KW culture feeling kind of agent. All right. Okay. 
then, and this is coming from a former KW guy, all right, it's worth it. Give me the 96%, all right, because 96% are going to do business with you and you and you regardless of what company you're with. And not because you're with Future Home either. I'm not here to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do business because Chris is with Future Home. Now, we don't want that name to be negative, right? We don't say, oh, you're Future Home, all right? So we're highly protective of that. Matter of fact, go down to Lithia. If you ever wonder about what a good company, go to go to Fishhawk Ranch, right? All right, you'll see these signs all over the place. I love FHR. All these banners, billboards, right on, on the Leroy Selman. I love FHR. It's awesome. Free publicity. I haven't paid for a dime. But Fishhawk Ranch happens to be Future Home Realty, and it's awesome. All right, it's all, it's all sorts. Of, go snap those photos. See, look, you take them on your listing presentation. Look. Even people are touting us. Look okay, at I love FHR. There it is. You have to tell us to use Fish Off Ranch. It's us. All right. <laughs> it's awesome. How would you get this weekend? I'm going to Bob put that up. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but who's a DM? You showed me this. Somebody had there was a, uh, like a book bag or something it you found. Was. I found it on a garage sale. I didn't know the lady was an agent. Somebody else, and of course. And, and so, anyway, she has this. And I was like, my daughter saw it. I didn't know it was See, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't say there. It says FHR. We all know what FHR means. Right? Let's utilize that. <laughs> See? Good for them. All right, keep it low. Keep the fish off range small. Keep the FHR big. I'm all about it. All right? That's how we're wisely investing your money, guys. All right? Okay, wisely investing your, your, your money as it comes back in. All right, now we got to roll, all right, because I've got 1145 with two new agents who decided that, you know what, it's time to join Future Home Realty, all right, um, and, and do it. So share a way of life with others. This year, choose to do, not to say, all right? Now, here's what's going to happen. You're going to walk out of here. That was fun. That was awesome. I feel energized. And you're going to literally, 15 minutes from now, three phone calls, house didn't appraise, termites in this one, and everything else, okay? Right? Okay. By the way, if you want, if you want this PowerPoint, uh, just email me, and I'll get you a copy of the PowerPoint. All right. It'll be back. It's on our this whole uh, uh, um, meeting will be on our YouTube uh, page as well as our back office temporarily right now under under Livecast Studios. But don't. That means you got to come back for more. Okay. We can't just let this be it. Okay. Let's go get them because that's what life's going to beat you down. That's why they have church every Sunday. All right. Okay, that's why you got to come back. Come back to these meetings. Come back to, to 100K when we have them. I, I, I dare you to make this seat this year year. I want it so badly for you. I really do. All right? And you can make it happen if that's what you decide. Cool? All right? Go get them. If you need anything, let us know. We're always here to help. All right? Thanks, guys. Come on. Yeah. Um, uh, January the 29th. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Attorney coming in doing a class on all the changes on the new Farbar contract. Okay, we'll knock we'll that out. Okay, thanks. We'll, we'll make sure we get that out. Yeah, I, I, I know the teacher, but I, I got fired right now.